need the name of the Lord. I welcome you to this segment of Set Me O Lord Success No Jet. My name is Safalabi Samekuka. At a time such as this, it is advisable that as men that are inspired and gifted to be an entrepreneur. But in being an entrepreneur, there is need to write a business proposal. So when writing a business proposal, I'll start by clearly defining the problem or need your proposal aims to address, followed by a detailed description of your solution or offering. Outline the benefits and value and value proposition of your proposal. I like how it meets the client's objectives. Provide relevant background, information about your company, including experience, qualifications, and previous successes. Clearly outline the scope of work, timeline, and deliverables, along with transparent pricing and terms. Finally, conclude with a compelling call to action and a request for feedback or next steps. So, after your business proposal, there is need for you to have an understanding of running a successful small-scale entrepreneurial business for great profit. In doing this, it involves identifying a niche market with high demand, providing a unique value proposition or product that sets you apart from competitors, prioritizing customer satisfaction by delivering exceptional service and building strong relationships. Efficiently manage expenses and cash flow. Continuously innovate and adapt to market trends and invest in marketing and networking to expand your reach. Finally, focus on scalability by establishing scalable processes and systems to handle growth by maintaining quality. You also need to develop a successful career. This requires setting clear goals continuously learning and adapting to new challenges and seeking opportunities for growth and advancement. Build a strong professional network and mentorship relationship to gain insights and support. Focus on developing both technical skills and soft skills such as communication, leadership and problem solving. Take ownership of your career path by actively seeking feedback, identifying areas of improvement and taking calculated risks. Finally, maintain a positive attitude, stay resilient in the face of setbacks, and strive for excellence in everything you do. The Lord bless you. Stay tuned in the next segment. My name is Afalabi Samekoka. Say to me, Lord, success not yet.